One of the things that's all over the internet today is that a, uh, a vendor at CES just had a Switch 2 prototype, and now we yes. all basically know what that looks like. And I wanted to ask, talk a little bit about what the uh, the possibilities of seeing DLSS tech in the Switch 2 is and what that could mean for Nintendo's next console. Yeah, oh, it's 100% in there, 99.9%. I mean, the hardware is capable of it. Uh, this is what's really interesting about Switch 2 is that although it's based on like... Um, GPU architecture from RTX like 30 series, the Ampere architecture. Obviously, those cards are still fully capable of running DLSS. You know, they have been since day one. Um, so yes, you know, Switch 2, almost certainly, 99.9% .9 certainty that it will be using DLSS. The question is really, what flavor of DLSS? Because um, it's not a powerful chip and DLSS is not a free lunch. There is a computational time um, attached to upscaling. Uh, the question is the extent to which the capabilities of the Switch 2 may make the upscaling calculations take longer. I know there's a lot of people out there that are really hoping that Switch 2 can run DLSS at 4K. Um, but based on projections I made based on the PC version of the, of the technology, the old PC version, not the new one, um, it was like taking 18 milliseconds to generate a 4K upscale, and you've got 16 milliseconds of frame time at 60 frames per second. So the utility of it for 4K is actually quite low. But as you go down to like 1080p, 60 frames per second is kind of doable there. 1440p, um, possibly for 30 FPS games. It's, yeah, so it's definitely going to be in there. The question is, first of all, is it the same DLSS that PC users have? Or is it like a lightweight model that's potentially a better fit for a mobile uh, console? Um, is it something that, you know, Nintendo has customized? I mean, it's perfectly viable for um, Nintendo to produce their own sort of lighter offshoot of, of DLSS because um, well, No Man's Sky on the Switch 1 is actually using AMD FSR2 upscaling, but they actually, Hello Games actually customized it to be a better fit for the Switch hardware. So it's, it's kind of like exactly the same principle, a lightweight version of the upscaler, which possibly doesn't have the same level of quality, but is a great fit for a handheld. So yes, it's going to use DLSS. Is it going to use PC quality DLSS? Possibly. Is there a lighter weight model better, that's a better fit for the handheld? Equally possible. And in fact, there was a direct reference to a lighter weight model in uh, an upscaling patent that um, Nintendo actually put out at the end of last year. So yeah, I mean, that's really exciting. Ray tracing, I mean, the Ampere architecture in Switch 2, ray tracing is, you know, is definitely one of the features. The question is whether the performance is there to meaningfully use it. So yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about Switch 2. It's actually a really forward-looking design, even though it's actually based on like two generation old NVIDIA architecture. So what Nintendo does, they find the old stuff and make it work yeah. for everybody. But, uh -huh. Absolutely. Um, 